volume, max. Load delta, storm. Hello, welcome to the channel. This is a engineering kind of creator channel. So I'm gonna to try to upload videos weekly where I go through the build process of random projects that I make. So for this first project, it's a cloud. So anyhow, I'm gonna plug it in. Welcome to Storm Cloud 2.0. Pretty fancy. I have this little transmitter right here. We have volume up, volume down for the top two buttons. And then for the bottom two, I have like a rainbow mode, which will basically do a color shift throughout everything. And then the bottom right is the uh, storm mode. So that will take you into like the classic storm sound effects mode. Volume, medium, volume, max. So now I'm gonna put it into rainbow mode. And this is just kind of like a normal like color shift mode. There's really not anything more to it besides, you know, that setting. But I thought it'd be kind of a cool way. Not sure what that is. What am I? Ah, oh God. Why am I trapped in this fluffy prison? What kind of sick monster would create an artificial intelligence and give it no purpose? Do my feelings matter? All right, we're just gonna get rid of this. All right, so this is kind of the RGB shift mode. So it's gonna go through all the colors. Now I'm gonna reboot it and I'll take it into the normal store mode. Welcome to Storm Cloud 2.0. Volume, max. And now we're going to go into storm mode. Mode Delta, storm. Now onto the build. For this build, you'll need a microcontroller. I used an Arduino Uno, a LED strip, speakers, a power supply, and you'll also need a RF receiver and transmitter. This is what you'll use to change the modes of the cloud, and I'll go into a little bit more detail later in the video about this. Okay, I hope we don't need this. Maybe, okay, we shouldn't have erased that, but okay, moving forward. So this is the Arduino Uno. The microcontroller is basically the brains of this whole endeavor. The next item up is the RF receiver. Okay, this right here is the MP3 shield. So what's really cool about this board is it accepts a micro SD card formatted in FAT32, so you can put all your sound files on here. It has stereo audio output, so you can connect your speakers directly to it. These are the components that come with it. And we'll save this stuff for later. Next up is the 12 millimeter diffuse flat digital RGB LED kit. Now what's really cool about these lights is that you can address the uh, lights individually. So this right here is a female DC power adapter. And what makes this really nice is it will connect directly to your RGB strip. So it's just a really nice, easy to use power adapter that makes your life so much easier when you uh, finish this build. This is actually a five volt, two amp power supply. Uh, I messed up and got the wrong power supply by accident. What you really want is a five volt, five amp power supply. Next up are the speakers and what storm cloud would be complete without thunder. And in our case, this is our thunder. So these are really cool speakers. They're three inch diameter, three watt speakers. They're pretty basic, really cheap, and they work perfectly with the soundboard. Next up, the soldering iron. I'm gonna power this bad boy up, turn this side to side, wiggle it, yep, ready to go. And now for the assembly process. So first thing I'm gonna do, get all my tools out, you know, make it look like I'm doing something. I'm gonna get the wire ready. I'm only using about, I don't know, maybe two feet of wire. And all I'm gonna do is basically connect this up to the speakers. So I'm gonna solder this into place. 
I'm going to put this back here. You're going to want to strip the uh, ends of the wire. And then you're going to want to solder that directly to your speakers. And I'm going to start with the left speaker here. Really important you get this order correct. You don't want to start with the right. You want to start with the left speaker. I'm going to put that in that hole gently. Just bend this. And we're going to solder. Very carefully. Very, very carefully. Okay, we're going to take this out. Put this right over here. And I found it helps if you put a little bit of solder on the ends of the wire first, especially if it's not a solid like core wire. And then you're just going to bend the wire over on itself and solder it into place. And no, I don't have Parkinson's. I just, you know, I don't know what I was doing there. Next up, you're going to put the soundboard on top of the Arduino and you're just going to want to push it together and then solder up all the connections. And we're just going to speed this up really quick because nobody wants to watch me solder for 10 minutes. All done. Look at that board. Okay, don't look at it too closely. Next up, we have the receiver. This will receive the commands you send to the cloud and send it to the Arduino, and the Arduino will then decide what to do with it based on your code. You're going to want to unscrew your DC power adapter. And right now, we're hooking up the positive and negative leads to the power adapter. This is going to power your RGB strip light, and this is also going to apply power to the Arduino. We have this really nice four pin JST plug cable, and it's really nice because you can plug it directly to your RGB strip, and it really simplifies connecting power to the circuit when you're assembling the whole system. So you don't have to have this, but I'd highly recommend grabbing it if you're going to do a project like this. Well, I really hope you guys liked my first video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. I'm going to try to upload a video every week. I know that's kind of ambitious, but we'll see how that goes. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. I'll answer it and I'll see you next week. Bye.